हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू लेट्स ट्यूट अकाउंटेंसी इफ यू आर न्यू टू आर चैनल देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ यू एंजॉय आर वीडियोस डू लाइक एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स फॉर मोर सच इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स वी आल्सो प्रोवाइड वेरियस ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज ऑन आर वेबसाइट एट सुपर अफोर्डेबल प्राइजेज प्लीज डू चेक दम आउट हाई फ्रेंड्स we have seen that an accounting cycle consists of three stages the first stage is collecting all the source documents which we have discussed in detail in our previous session now that we have finished collecting all the source documents let's move to the next stage of recording and transferring it in different accounting books so in today's session we will focus only on recording the transactions in a journal and the later stage of the cycle will be dealt in our further sessions so friends can you tell me what is a journal a journal is nothing but a diary of business events and according to the money measurement concept only those business events which can be valued in terms of money are recorded journal is a most basic record on which all other accounting records are dependent it is a book of prime or original entry so all together we can say that a journal is a complete systematic and summarized record of all transactions all daily transactions are found quickly in this book as it is always chronologically arranged this book of original entry is also acceptable in the court as evidence if at all any disputes arise in future so before we proceed everyone be ready with your book and pen so that we can record the transactions together this is how a journal looks like as we are recording entries in the books of daniel's business so at the top of the page we will write journal entries in the books of daniel traders Now if we see the rulings on this page there are in total 5 columns we will learn how to fill these columns with the entries in a short while we have got around 30 transactions from the source documents collected of daniel's business in this past month we will try to record at least 10 of these in this session so shall we begin The first transaction of his business is capital introduced eight thousand. So in the date column, we will write year at the top, and in the next line, the month and the date of the transaction. Now in the second column, we will record the accounting entry. As we have learned in our debit and credit session, there are three steps which we always follow. that is accounts affected classification of accounts and to determine whether debit or credit so here in the first transaction the two accounts affected are cash account and capital account then we will classify these accounts so cash account belongs to real account and capital to personal account Now the last step would be to determine whether it is debit or credit. So as we know that real account says debit what comes in and credit what goes out. And here as cash is coming in the cash account is debited. And capital being a personal account it says debit the receiver and credit the giver. so capital account will be credited so we write here as cash account debit 8000 in the debit column and the account credited in the succeeding line so here we write as to capital account remember friends the account credited always starts with the preposition to and will write 8000 in this credit column This accounting entry which we have recorded is also known as the journal entry and it is read as cash account debit to capital account 
Now, after recording the entry, we will have to narrate the transaction and we write it as into brackets being capital introduced in the business. Here, we must note that every narration will begin with the word being. This step of writing a narration is important because if we are referring to a transaction in future, we can easily see the transaction. If you see here, we have left one column, that is LF. What exactly does this mean? LF refers to ledger folio. This column would act as a reference to us while posting these journal entries to relevant ledger accounts, which we will understand in our upcoming sessions. I hope everything is okay. So let's move on to the next transaction. Let's write the date which is second and again the three important steps. The first is accounts affected. As goods are purchased in cash, so the cash account as well as the purchase account will be affected. Now the next step is to classify these accounts. So cash is a real account and purchase being an expense belongs to nominal account. And the last step is to determine whether it is a debit or credit. As we know, nominal account means debit all expenses and credit all incomes and gains. So purchase account will be debited and cash is a real account so it would be credited. So the accounting entry is purchase account debit 2000 in the debit column to cash account 2000 in the credit column and writing the narration in the brackets being goods purchased for cash. Till now we have done with the first two transactions and I hope you all might have also recorded it in your books. The next transaction is chronologically recording on third. There is a cash transaction so we'll debit Eric account by 1200 and will credit sales account. Oh, we made a mistake here. We have debited Eric account. But the correct entry will be cash account debit as the goods are sold for cash to sales account and the narration will be being goods sold for cash. So shall we move to the next transaction? Here, bill has been paid on 5th. And as it is an expense, so it belongs to nominal account. So recording the journal entry as electricity account debit 350 in the debit column to cash account. And the narration is being electricity bill paid in cash. Now we know that to record a transaction in a journal book, we record the date journal entry, debit amount and credit amount and the narration below the accounting entry for our future reference. So can you tell the journal entry for this transaction? It is very similar to the previous expense that we have just recorded. Both these expenses belong to the nominal account, right? So it would be debited. Okay, so recording the journal entry as printing and stationery account debit to cash account. Now onwards, you can try to record the transactions before the answers appear on the screen. On 9th April, furniture was purchased for office use. So the entry will be. Now the next transaction is. Purchase goods from Harry Traders worth 800. So we enter it as. But the next transaction says some of the goods purchased from Harry Traders were returned after some days. So this entry will be reversed. And the accounting entry will be Harry Traders account debit 
and as goods are returned so the purchase return account will be credited and the next transaction is goods sold to crystal so the entry will be crystal account debit 850 to sales account 850 in the credit column Now the last transaction for this session is cash deposited to bank. So here we end with the first 10 transactions of Daniel's business. We will record other entries with Daniel in our next session. But before we end up with this session, out of the remaining 20 transactions, we have picked some transactions for you to try it out. So this was all for today. We will meet you soon in our next session, and we'll make accounting more simpler for you. We hope you have liked this session. If you still have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section. We are always there to help you. Also, get the privilege to become our Prime member and get access to many more benefits by just clicking the join button. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Let's Shoot Accountancy, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for latest updates. Thank you. See you soon in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning.